All right, guys, so we are about ready to start aquascaping this bad boy. So what we're going to do, I made these, and I, there's a whole separate video if you're interested in, in how to make uh, tiers and or terraces, because what you can do is then you can make a layer like this, fill in gravel into here, gravel that this, ta this piece is all one. So you put gravel in, and it holds this down and this will hold back a fair amount of substrate uh, but we're going to actually trim it so it doesn't even need to hold as much weight of substrate and we'll put some substrate under it like this and then that way it gets a little more height so we'll have a terrace that's probably six inches up above the the surface of the the very bottom of the tank then over in the corners the far corners the plan is to build slopes and either I haven't decided yet if these are going to come down this way like tree roots or go up like tree roots coming out of a bank of a river or something but it doesn't really matter because we've got other stuff to do first so just to show you guys the mess that this sometimes creates is you've basically got oh we're getting some steam on the lens here some fog so let me clear that off sorry guys but we've got a bunch more washed sand in a bag, a bunch more rinsed uh, rock gravel. Uh, this is from uh, like a Home Depot or Lowe's. It's usually like $4.99 for 50 pounds of it. Then we've got the ADA Amazonia, and and uh, I haven't yet cut it with uh, the Fluval Stratum, but that's just a way to keep it a little cheaper. And if you don't want quite as potent of ammonia, nitrates, nitrates in your starter, uh, tank then you'll then that's helpful and then we also have a bunch of plants that I got at the store that are ready to go tissue cultures so there's no algae or anything and a few um, a few stem plants and then we've got these rocks plus a whole truckload more of them uh, that have been rinsed washed and scrubbed just with water vinegar works too but water uh, is usually plenty good so we've got all that ready as well as we've got a little uh, 40 gallon hang off the back filter. This is only 22 gallons. Um, and then we also have the F Fluval Nano uh, CO2 kit that we're going to put on this tank, as well as the Twin Star Light. Now, I know you can see all my art stuff and guest blankets and everything in, in the closet, so sorry about that, but the door is off its hinge at the moment, so you'll just have to deal with that throughout this video. But this is a teeny little CO2 unit. They've made a lot of improvements on it since the first generation. Uh, and it is a little expensive to get the recharge bottles every month or two months or whatever it is. Uh, they kind of kind of get you there. But if you want a CO2 system doesn't have big tanks or you know scuba tanks or, or even paintball sized tanks, uh, that's the way to go. Usually I like those more for like a little, you know, 10 gallon cube or smaller six gallon cubes pretty much ideal uh, or five gallon tank but works well so we're gonna get this going and all we have in here so far is a little bit layer of sand that's just to diffuse the weight of the rocks a bit and uh, some people use egg crate if you've got hard rocks with sharp corners and things where you're gonna be piling the weight on uh, foam or egg 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 carton is a good type thing to put in there um, just make sure that it's safe for the fish, uh, you know, food food uh, grade, or that you've found that it's safe somewhere online that's reputable. Um, and so we're we're able to move these around. I've glued the two together, so we've got basically a big a big piece and another separate piece. So if I do want a, a bit of a, a drop in the center, so we could do almost like a canyon and then another little drop. Um, then I can also leave a, a room for a visual path or for uh, a centerpiece plant or whatever. So I'm kind of just going to feel it out as I go. Uh, we'll probably film some time lapse, but I monkey with these things for a few days, so uh, I can't promise it'll all be uh, able to be seen in progress. But most people don't really actually watch that anyways, um, every step of the way. Also, the new substrate from uh, Amazona, Amazonia uh, which is uh, the ADA stuff, It they all come with these little um, pellets. And these little pellets 
are where the the most intense ammonia nitrates and nitrites are. So that way you can kind of use it closer to a fluval stratum, less of the active um, start to a tank. But we actually want a very uh, potent start to this tank because of we'll have CO2 and a very bright light uh, that really covers every inch of the tank. So. Um, we'll be putting these pellets interspersed with the substrate, but I like to do that uh, after I've got the substrate settled because uh, those pellets tend to kind of work their way to the top if you're moving things and leveling things out and stuff. So uh, I'm going to do that, and I'm also going to leave, even though it doesn't look like the prettiest thing, leave the, the saran wrap and cling wrap that's on this tank just so I don't scratch anything with a rock or whatnot. And, uh, but I did take it out from under the tank, obviously, and put the mat, uh, a foam mat that came with this tank underneath that. So we're pretty much ready to start filling things in. And uh, yeah, I'll set you guys up. You can watch a little bit and I'll interject if there's anything uh, important going on. And then we'll talk again when we get to the the planting stage or any other uh, things if I decide I might put some tunnels in or something so we'll, we'll talk about any of that if it, if it does go on in this tank but if you do want to see a tank um, look up my deep substrate aquascape or my anoxic anaerobic uh, and aerobic uh, so it's all three kinds uh, oxygen low oxygen and then high oxygen filtration hidden within one tank uh, I have a whole video on that also and how to plant tissue cultures and why they melt when they're new and your first algae spike so really go check out those videos if any of that stuff is what you were hoping to find out here uh, they exist and there's actually a whole aquascaping playlist that should have most of that um, in it so uh, I'll talk to you guys soon All right, everybody, so I just want to give you a close-up on what we've done so far. So we've got the terrace built. It's filled with soil. And as you can see, I did a sandwich layer. So we got the sand, which is really more rocks and sand, then a good inch to two inches of aqua soil, some places maybe even three, and then another cap of sand that's maybe an inch, even a half an inch in some spots. And Really, I just want the sand. I know it's going to mix and kind of turn up like that, but I want the sand so that stem plants and little teeny chain swords and things like that, so I can actually tuck them in and do a submersed tank on this. I don't want to do a tank where uh, 
I have to dry start it and put all the things in the tank and then let it grow and keep saran wrap over the tank and keep the humidity high and worry about mold and all those other things. So I'd rather just flood it right away. Now, from above, the tank kind of just looks meh. Looks kind of eh. And uh, that's okay. The, the main view I want to be, well, you guys can see the mess of plants and coats and filters and lights now that I have, but main view is going to be from the bed or the couch over there. So the other thing is I have to decide whether I want to hide the rest of this bottle, and I think I will cut that last edge off the bottle. And I really don't know what I'm doing with these branches yet. These branches are subject to being moved, but I like how this one has the ability to bend down over the rocks like it's grown in. And just because of that one branch, uh, it really makes me think that I'm probably going to do the branches this way down rather than sticking up like, like a tree canopy of some sort. Um, I kind of want to make it look like it's bursting out of a rockery. Now, it looks real bare and naked right now because there's a four or five inch gap between height on the very front and the back but that will fill in with little plants here and plants in the front and soon you'll lose track of all that. Really, the, the baseline height for the tank, unless you're doing a carpet, ends up being quite a bit higher when you've got it all planted. So I'm not worried about that either. Now, I did want to do originally a valley, but now I'm kind of thinking I like the asymmetrical with the slope. Maybe we'll do a nice stone here. But really right now what I want to do is stop and think and just kind of decide and maybe take some pictures, sketch over it digitally, and just kind of decide what it is that I'm gonna do with the aquascape. Um, but it's set up really ideally with, with plants in mind. I mean, it is all about the, the plants in this one. Um, if we can get the saran wrap glare out of the way, you can see that this tower can support a lot of plants. We also put all the root tabs in, and they're kind of in between the soil and the uh, sand layer, if not a little deeper. Most are about an inch and a half deep or so, maybe two inches at the deepest. But kind of thinking something like this, and then we can have some wispy grass coming out over the edge here, like Cypress Health Fairy or Health Fry, however you want to say it. And then up there, I'm thinking, either some Laganondra me bold eye in the front or something interesting since it's got a big deep root base over there and then maybe Bulbitis hedulata coming out and up so there's an actual fern hanging out of the tank so you kind of get that symmetry with the plant here a lighter plant here and then all the colorful plants as the background probably do like a, a Rotala Atra as the background wall I like to wall off my tanks Rather than putting decals on the back of tanks, I love to use plants instead to kind of block out that light if I can help it. Now, let me show you real quick a tank that is grown in so you can get an idea of how this isn't going to stay stratified like this. And you can see how tall that is. And Sorry, my hands are real dirty now. Um, you guys can see how tall uh, that is. I mean, that's a good five inches, four inches at least um, on either side. So this will compress down a little bit it will flatten out when water comes in and moves around and just the weight of that but um i'd rather start with that height and then worry about it later if it's too shallow but we did knock off a good seven gallons probably of water so now we kind of have to treat this like maybe a 15 or 16 17 gallon tank something like that so um, that's just something else to keep in mind when you aquascape the heck out of something. Now, I didn't hide any caves or anything yet, um, but it's real easy just to pick up a rock. We can cut into that plastic bottle. We could hide filtration in that bottle. I used two big rocks as the main spacers in the base of it and then filled it with uh, the Fluval Stratum. That was the second bag I used. It's a little cheaper than the ADA Amazonia, and, Amazonia, and I just kind of like it as a filler. The other thing that, that we're still going to add, let me turn off this light so we can s maybe see less glare. Um, the other thing I still want to add is some sort of feature stones. So I'll go select out of the giant pile of stones I have uh, in the truck. I'm going to go select the ones with the interesting banding and then it'll be a puzzle process that I'm not going to bother to film because it takes hours, sometimes days. But it'll be a, a selection process of 
orienting them so that they're uh, pretty looking. But right now, it's really just structural. So it's structurally sound. I could start planning, probably be dumb because I'm probably going to put rocks in the way, a few more. But really the rocks get buried. And let me show you how true that is in another tank that I did this a very similar way. So I said I was going to show you one tank. I lied. There's going to be two. So you can see here, that's a pretty deep substrate. And you can see that I'm wearing my Christmas pajamas, even though it is March. Um, but <laughs> you can see how much the plants can take up. Now I've kind of got mid-ground and background plants all the way in the front in this tank because it's so deep. But in that tank, we're going to have to be more cautious about it. Um, and just you know kind of be careful of that this is another tank here where I had really deep substrate and uh, rocks you can see the rocks that rock is not even two inches from the glass and it's completely lost this tank is growing completely out of control by the way but um, that is the look right up there that I'm wanting to come out of the top of the tank on on the far left side of the new tank a bunch of those and some ferns so we'll see how it goes um, I'll keep you guys updated and show you guys the next phase when the plants are going in thanks for watching guys like subscribe share if you're one of those people I don't know why you'd share this but have a great day guys